<laughs> so this is my original sky and you can hardly tell that on, on camera so I'm, I'm going to change it a little bit on this uh, on this canvas so this is my original sky that you probably can't see because i can't see it through the lens of the camera <laughs> but it's it's basically a very very pale gray color but i'm going to just darken it off a touch here and there i want a very misty painting today and i'm just going to tinker with some of this gray now the old canvas has been coated in a thin layer a thin thin layer of linseed oil and white mixed on there i've coated it all because as the rising line is going to be somewhere down here and we're going to have a tree in the uh as a, a center stage really and just put some loose colors there this is just basically blue red a little bit of brown a bit of black and plenty of white we'll get them in get them colors in there and of course the more we mix the more well the less paint comes off the brush the paler it becomes so that's what we want big strokes up at the top tiny strokes down at the bottom okay so round about like that now we're going to grab our brush okay it's not dry it's not clean it's what i blended the, the canvas earlier and i'm just going to take away the brush strokes just like this now i want a very misty looking painting a very murky misty uh, it's going to be a, uh, an autumn painting a fall painting so just like that all the way across now we can if we want to have a look and darken the corners if we need to if the if the composition needs it but as i'm stood and i'm stood a little bit of sideways onto the canvas it looks all right maybe i'll just bend it a little bit there okay like that okay so with the same color i'm just gonna add a tiny touch of the yellow ochre now i don't mind it going a bit green if it needs to I maybe get some of this orange but only a touch not much at all okay these are Windsor Newton's paints just like that and I'm going to start off somewhere down here and I'm just going to put a little bit of a base color down for some for some land that we want and as we work further up we're going to get less on the brush and it's going to mix more with the white that's on there the titanium white that we mixed with the linseed oil and that gives us a nice medium just to, to blend these colours back into virtually nothing so that they're like that, like so. And we're going to have a couple of little background trees and then major trees somewhere in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to spend a few minutes just, just filling this up. Maybe change the flavour again, a bit more yellow, but don't go direct into the yellow. Mix it with some of this. We'll keep mixing on this area here, then we get the same colours working our way through. Even if we need to change a little bit of the colour, maybe a bit of red, mix it into that pile there and then go to the canvas. And there we go, like that. Of course, this wants to be pale and, and misted out and this wants to be a little bit more vibrant. Actually a little bit closer to the canvas and I'm just going to put a little couple of little trees, maybe that's a bit too strong. Just a couple of little trees just in the background, just here. Just a couple of dots, that's all you need. We're gonna miss this out into nothing. Okay, maybe a couple there. You can, they're just a little bit too far away to make anything out of, just a little bit of, a little bit of something. That's all it needs. There, like so, and then again, I'm going to grab a different brush. I'm just going to get something that's a little bit softer. This blender one will do. Make sure, make sure there's no paint on it. Okay, and I'm just going to fluff and tap and just push those into the painting. Uh, mix with the white that's on there. And it's so delicate. You can hardly tell that they're there. This is a very delicate, subtle little painting. Of course, if you want it a little bit stronger, go for it. Go for it. But I want something nice and soft and gentle. Today. Same brush, and I'm just going to grab a touch of brown and maybe a bit more of the white as well, because we're losing a lot of our our colour there, our our pile, our wad of paint. And I'm just going to put a little bit of something there, like that. And again, I want it very soft, and I want everything in this painting pale. There, like so. Just bring it across there. Now this looks like a little bit of a... I never planned for this, but that looks like a natural area there for some water. 
for a little bit of water. So I'm just going to grab some of this colour, maybe grab a bit more of the brown and put a bit of blue in there. Not much blue. There's no real blue in the sky. But we're just going to add a little bit of something there. So we'll pull a little bit of this down. Just like that. Same dirty brush. We've, we've only really used this brush to plough on paint. The other, the other brushes we've used just to just to tease out a little bit of clouds and background stuff. Okay, again, just pull gently down and then go gently across with this blender brush. There, and we've got a little water, a little pond there. Right, before we get carried away, I'm going to put the, the whereabouts of our, our major tree. And we're going to have a little bit of something wibbly-wobbly. So I'm just going to put something in round about there slightly off center as it comes to the ground there like that okay so now we know where to work around all right and we can worry about all this and all the land that's going to be back here a little bit later on in the composition maybe maybe not maybe maybe we carry on we're just going as we we're just painting as we go really nice and free nice and loose Okay, if we need to take the, the trunk out of it a little bit, that's all right. Because we know exactly where it is now, we can paint it back in. There, like that. So, I've just scooped up that paint and put it all into a pile and I've had a bit more brown here. And I've just painted a little bit of a, a, a grey misty tree. And I'm just, just going to put some more on this side. Now this tree in the middle is going to have to go way up there somewhere just to just to push these back. But this is what we're going to do. Just put in the indication of some far away misty little trees that are down on this 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 river bank. Just there. I know we've got no uh, reflections there, but we will have. We will have. And grab a little bit of that darker colour. It's only ever so darker. So it may show up very dark when you put it down on canvas, but you can tease these two colors together like that. Like so. Okay, and remember, a bit of a reflection down there as well. Like so. We can put some, some branches on these big old trees that come down there like that, wherever it wants to go. Keep your brush nice and sharp as well. There we go, well, that is dark. We may have to blend that one out if it looks too dark. So again, I want some very subtle little painting today. <laughs> that really looks misty. So I'm just taking this little rounded brush, very soft and delicate, and I'm just going to go into all this colour and really tap, just really tap, 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 tap. I don't know if you can see that, but just tap, 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 tap in there. Okay, and that breaks up the bristles, and I'm just going to touch on, and I'm just going to stipple on some little... Some little twigs and old, old leaves that are up here. Okay, the more you tap, the more it'll just mix into mush. So just be careful with that. We don't want mush up here. We just want a nice blended sort of little colour. There. Just a nice little amount. Just a, a bit, so that's a bit stronger there, but it separates it. Even though it's misty. We want some separation between the, the different branches and leaves and things. So that's fine. That's really good. There we go. We don't want it too strong. Yeah, I think that might do it for that brick. Uh, brick. <laughs> what I'm thinking about. That bush, that tree. Good God. Before we get too giddy with the foreground, I'm just going to take that colour, a little bit of brown popped into that. A little bit brown popped into that. And just... Take some of that colour and I'm just going to very gently and delicately cut in a little bit of land or bank or anything. I don't want the colours to change too greatly, maybe just a little shade or two darker. Just so you can see. And if you take a dry knife, a clean dry knife, because knives usually dry, <laughs> you, you, you will be able to cut some ripples into the to the water and we might even do that i don't want it too strong or distinct because it is a foggy foggy day 
there like that wipe the knife clean paper towel and then you could just cut it in and you won't be able to see this until you look at it i wouldn't be tempted to just get a big gallop of, of liquid white titanium white and just cut it in okay uh, like so if it's a bit too strong just blend it with the knife just rub it into the canvas so it looks like a pond or some sort of river or water course and i think that'll do as far as background material be cutting a couple of twigs and sticks up there maybe if it's got a big big chunk of color that you don't like the look of just go through it with a knife there we go maybe maybe some tree trunks back there i don't know anyway so it's time to get a little bit crazy with colour. I've got some some red, orange, yellow, the browns on top of all this mucky colour and lots and lots and lots of titanium white. And I'm just going to go down here, very soft, delicate little brush and just put in some little leaves down here that have fallen from the tree. We need to decide what colour we want our big main tree to be now. You could go orange, yellow, red, browns. You could have it greens if you want. But I think we're going to go for the, the reds and the oranges. We may change our mind as we go up there, but I'm just putting a bit of colour down down here on 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 the canvas, just like that. Okay, with the colour down, I'm just virtually not touching the canvas at all with this very delicate, soft little blender brush, just to just to soften and and tweak together all the colours. We don't we don't want no sharp colours really. We don't want nothing vibrant and sharp and anything sticking out. Anyhow, let's get back onto the big tree. So a bit of brown and a bit of black with a little bit of white thrown in there just for good measure. And let's work on this this tree. Right, we want to shape some of these limbs. So just touch on and I know there's a lot of paint up on this canvas. So we've got to be a bit careful. Okay. And then we'll come down here and I say we wiggle and jiggle and bring it down just like this and then we're going to grow the tree outwards maybe put a bit more black this looks like it's a natural shaded area so we'll, we'll add a bit more color down there like that we're going to work on this tree now put a bit of black in there again every color because we've got the complete canvas covered in in titanium white anything that we Anything that we put down will turn a shade paler. It's going to be hard to get a true black on there. You've got to really plow a lot of paint on there. But we're going to leave the tree about there because we're going to have leaves above it and brightly coloured, well, not brightly coloured leaves, coloured leaves, should I say. And we're going to just gently tweak this, this back around and work on it. Uh, like that, we want a lighter side at this side. So get all your darks in first. What we have in there. It virtually looks like a watercolor. So with the tree trunk all in place, I'm just going to take a bit of bright red and a bit of yellow just mixed, and I'm just going to uh, delicately just put a little bit of something up here that looks like leaves, and I'm using the top corner of this little slanted brush, and I'm just going to pop in some some leaves now we're going to mix the colors up as we go along we're going to add some yellows to it and some some blue to darken it off but all we're doing is just popping in some some dots of leaves that are up here and i think this red will will look really nice and again the more you tap onto the canvas the more it's going to pick up some of that white so it's going to get get paler and paler so we may have to just put real big globs of paint on as we go along. That's all we're doing, just putting some in there, wherever we want the leaves to live. Yeah, like so, maybe a couple of there that come out like that. Be a bit free, be a bit free with this. So I'm just going to change how I hit the canvas with the, with the, the brush now. It's a slanted brush, but I'm hitting it on its thinnest side well if you have a look so i'll sharpen the brush it's nice and sharp turn it that way and i'm just going to hit the canvas now this is just pure cad red i'm just going to pick out some darker areas and then we're going to pick out even more darker areas with a bit of blue mixed into that i'm just tapping those little leaves on 
there and take a step back every once in a while Let's see what the composition looks like what does it need so it's a beautiful red you know i'm going to say flower in there the leaves it really put some paint on lots of paint and red together i'm just going to darken some areas off again just tap on i was just using this little brush but you can use use any little brush that you've got going just add some darkness to this and we'll come back and we'll pop some light into these as well plenty of paint lots of paint when it dries i want you to be able to feel how thick this paint is well we've got that well, we've got a dirty crimson color on the brush we can just push in a little bit of something just down in the in the foreground here just a couple of little leaves or sticks or whatever i don't know we'll just push that in if we don't like it we can we can get rid of it as well later on just a couple of little darker things as well just down here again change the flavor as we go a bit of blue in that a bit of brown in that even yeah look at that <laughs> looks crazy doesn't it <laughs> we may have to change that a little bit okay but, but there we go maybe pull some grasses through that as well i don't know and a few around here as well hardly any paint on the brush at this side this is the lighter side so so there we go now we're gonna wipe the brush pick up some yellow paint and highlight the tree plenty of yellow paint on the brush let's start up here and i'm just gonna gob on just there plenty of paint really thick you put it on yellow paint is usually quite thin as we buy it from the tube and that's because it's 90 percent of the time a highlight color and uh, when we're putting it on top of linseed oil it doesn't really stick that much so to get around that you're gonna have to put lots of paint on you've got to be quite accurate where you put it and as it mixes with the red that we're putting it on top as well it may go a couple of shades of orangeness and that's fine we're all right with that don't mind a few shades of orangeness do it uh some of the highlight areas wherever the highlights want to be and live and take them back a little bit into the tree so it looks nice again we'll probably have a couple round there as well take a step back does it look all right and do we need to add any more again plenty of paint Just a few little dark sticks and twigs in the corners and we have about finished on this small little canvas and i like that one i like the texture and i like the colors if you give this one a go please tag me in a picture painting with master temple on facebook subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and until next time take care you said stay safe happy days